If you're at all compelled about the longevity and expansion of the Miz T Show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links below. Hey there, fools. Big T here and back with another video. This video will be talking about how Nintendo Switch continues to break records. Just broke another one in the US. It's the fastest selling uh, home console in uh, North America, beating out the Wii even. So that is amazing, stellar. We all know the Wii uh, had shortages early on, so you know maybe it would have done better, but doesn't matter um, because the Switch sold, what is it, 4.8 million in its first 10 months beating the Wii. Uh, just below that, I believe, was the PS2 at 3.9 or something like that. So pretty good company there for the Switch, especially for a console that when it got announced, many people just thought you know, it wasn't going to sell well. It's going to be another Wii U. I don't know why <laughs> they thought that because Nintendo IPs are very strong and the only thing separating people, uh, the mainstream, from Nintendo's IPs, um, as far as the Wii U goes, was the hardware that, for whatever reason, most people just didn't get, and uh, a lot of uh, third parties uh, also just kind of not, kind of shunned it, and didn't give it, you know, the, I don't know, the proper looks that it deserved. You know, as far as I'm concerned, I love the Wii U. A lot of great games on it, so. It's really cool to see the Switch do this well. I always thought it would do well. I think my prediction for the first year was 8 million. Uh, I guess we're going to probably go over that in Juice Loose Podcast. That's where I, uh, we all gave our predictions as far as what we thought uh, Switch would do in the calendar year of 2017. I'm not close. All right, I mean, I guess I'm close. Certainly closer than uh, a lot of the naysayers are or were. And, uh, they just don't really know what to do at this point. <laughs> You know, people keep expecting Switch to hit a wall. I don't know. No console that has sold this well in its first year has ever hit a wall. So I just don't understand why people keep expecting it to hit a wall. There's, a, there's you know, millions of people that still want a Switch that haven't gotten one. Uh, maybe they're waiting on certain games. Maybe they're just waiting for the thing to release or be in an abundant supply. Like in Japan, the supply chain in Japan has gotten a lot better. So you've seen like, you know, two, three hundred thousand sales in one week in Japan so that's pretty amazing hasn't hit China yet and I think Nintendo is really smart about what they're doing in China they're just not gonna just release it kind of like the way Sony did the PlayStation and the way Microsoft did Xbox one just kind of released it and didn't really tailor any of the software to the region and Nintendo seems to be smart about doing that they're taking I think the biggest game uh, in the biggest game in China and they're, they're putting it on the switch uh, the mobile game, I can't think of the name of it right now, but they're doing that, so they're thinking, you know, how do we get this thing to sell, not just putting it out there because, you know, just because the uh, video game market has been opened up back to outsiders, so I'm excited for the, the sales only because that means more software and uh, more uh, Nintendo franchises possibly that we haven't gotten before, that we didn't get on Wii U, stronger efforts from third parties, and, uh, you know, that's always going to be a good thing for a console. This console is just stellar to me. Um, I think 2018 could be better than 2017. Obviously, 28, 2017 had like big, huge games in Zelda and Super Mario Odyssey. So I don't think they'll have, I don't think 2018 will be, will have as impactful of games as those two. But I think they'll be more abundant and I think there'll be a lot of surprises. And there'll be a lot of more on par with the other consoles. And as we've seen before, you know, people love the GameCube. Um, a lot of people love it over the Wii even. Um, but I contest that the Wii uh, had a better had a better lineup as far as games that made the system better. You know, obviously games that made the system unique. GameCube had more uh, third-party support that was on par with the other consoles. So I think that's why it's loved more, and that's what's going to happen with the Switch this year, I believe. I think it'll have more third-party on par with the other consoles, more announcements, and, you know, that's why I feel it'll be a bigger year. I think it'll sell quite a bit more in 2018 than it did 2017. Yeah, this is uh, pretty pretty cool news, and uh, it's just, you know, awesome to see this, especially with, you know, people discounting the Switch and not realizing the potential of its 
uh, the biggest thing to me, which is the biggest seller to me, is this form factor. People just discounted that as, you know, not being that important. And I'm not sure why, because Nintendo handhelds have always done stellar. Um, 3DS being the weakest, and it's at 70 million sold right now. So, <laughs> this thing, it just proves that, you know, people like the convenience of having a home console that they could take anywhere. That's just the coolest thing ever. And I'm glad Nintendo decided to go that route with the Switch. And it's just going to mean bigger and better things for Nintendo going forward. And us Nintendo fans. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Switch's success thus far. Uh, what do you think the ceiling will be? I think it'll beat the Wii. I don't know how by how much, but I do believe it'll beat the Wii. Um, because I think the Wii kind of sputtered its last, its last year. And I think the Switch will continue to sell well because of that nature because of its portability it'll still sell you know you know the way Nintendo handhelds sell in their last year especially when that thing drops down to 200 150 in its late late years oh my goodness it's still gonna sell gangbusters it's gonna it's gonna do what PlayStation 2 was doing in its last years you know its last year and a year and a half two years it sold really well it outsold the new hardware that came on the market so I think the Switch can do the same thing. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you as always for watching and listening. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out.